Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Gmail to Notion in 2024. So today, we're going to explore how to connect Gmail to Notion. And of course, what is Notion? Notion is a versatile productivity tool. And while Gmail is a popular email platform, so integrating Gmail with Notion allows you to streamline your workflow by capturing important emails and turning them into actionable tasks or notes within Notion. So join me as we delve the steps to connect Gmail to Notion and supercharge your productivity. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and access your Notion integrations. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and here you'll have to type notion.com and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen or main screen of notion so make sure if you have an account to go to the top right corner and click on login to log into your account if you have an account and if you don't have an account you'll have to go and create a new account for me as an example so let me just go and open notion here again if it's your first time you can log in with your account of course you can use google apple or even so to log into your account without any problems if you don't want to enter all the informations by your own and of course you can uh, create new accounts with the same options if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account once you do so you'll find yourself on the home screen or main screen of notion make sure of course first of all to have a gmail account so you can go to gmail.com and it will just require for you to have a email uh, a google account if you have it you'll basically have a gmail account the first thing that you create like is gmail i guess while creating your google account so make sure to log into that so it will be easier of course to connect it now what you'll need to do is as we said access notion integrations to do so we'll have to go and access settings or you'll find that simply in this list panel as you can see third option here below search and inbox you'll find the settings and members just go and click on that you'll find yourself here so go to this list panel again and click on connection right here once you do so you'll find yourself here so make sure to click on bros connections and gallery once you click on that this will open a new tab for you here as you can see you have a lot of apps to look around as you can see there's all apps analytics you can even use the search button as example to search for gmail as an example searching for gmail all third party trademarks including logo icons are properly of course their respective owners which do not sponsor authorize or endorse this website so as you can see once we type gmail there is no gmail in here even an example let's just try as example to type google so what you'll find in here so google workspace set up automated user provision with a uh, provision in sorry with uh, or via google workspace or you can connect your google drive via google drive files and notion page and database so as you can see there is no gmail even as examples so let's say uh, i'll just use this option and type here gmail and as you can see there is no gmail so this is just an option that search things for you in the page just to show you that there is no gmail so there is no direct connection on uh, from notion so what can we do of course you can go and connect like a google workspace if you want to and you can count as a gmail because it's kind of the same thing but that's what not not what we're going to do this video in this video so for me in this video i'll open uh, or i will use a third app party called zapier so open a new tab go type zapier.com hit the enter button you'll find yourself in their home screen and main screen make sure to go of course if it's your first time you will find yourself on a page like this so make sure to have if you have an account go and login into it if you don't click on sign up you can sign up or create an account using google facebook or microsoft if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your accounts so once you do so you will find yourself on the dashboard of zapier right away so the first thing that you'll need to do is check that the apps is there also gmail and notion go to this list panel click on apps in here and first of all you'll have to look for gmail and gmail is in there as you can see you will have to click on connect and connect to your gmail accounts for me it's already connected for me and you'll have to look for notion so type notion and as you can see notion is here also so we'll have to go and click on connect notion is not connected for me so we'll just go here and connect it as you can see zapier is requesting access to my notion account and zapier will have permission to view pages you select zapier will be able to view pages you select in the next step you can also share pages later with zapier and notion and edit pages you select 
as you can see you can also share pages later and etc so create new content within pages you select and view workspace user uh, users and their emails so click as an example and select pages if you want to use specific pages or you can use the whole pages if you want to and allow access to all pages if you want more some specific pages just select those specific pages so for example I'll just allow on uh, my notion my whole notion and click on allow access once i do so as you can see now my notion is already connected now what i'll need to do just go back to home and here i'll use this ai tool as you can see what you would like to automate so this third up party zapier will automate things for you and connects it on the same time so for example for me here i'll just type connect uh, like the idea of this video which is gmail to notion as simple as that and hit the enter button once i do so i'll have to wait a bit until they look for my specific like zap that i want as you can see sync gmail emails to notion database so you can click on try it here and here you will have two things of course you have the trigger and you have the trigger and the action so for example, let me just go and make it bigger a bit. So you can change, of course, the trigger from Gmail to Notion if you want to automate things from Notion to Gmail, or you can let's say it is. So of course, you'll have to choose the event. So let's say, for example, the trigger event in Gmail is when you receive a new email match in search. If you do so, you should, of course, enter the trigger like uh, search string. Of course, that's the change depending on the event that you choose. As an example, if I choose new email, so as you can see, the trigger will uh have nothing other than of course it's already like i can go through tests directly but of course i can change some uh inbox or labels specifically for that as example of course i can change the event into like uh i don't know new attachments if i receive a new attachment if i receive new attachments of course uh, something will happen in notion that i will choose so i'll have to choose the, the action that i should do once i receive or once this trigger is on so for example once here i receive new attachments what should a notion do create a database item or create some custom actions create a page do whatever you want depending on whatever you want in here if you didn't find the action that you want in here you can create a new action using the ai of course with the help of the AI, click on create action and here you have to enter all the informations here that you should to create your new action it's very simple then of course you'll if depending on the action the event that you choose here on the action you'll have to enter the uh the information for example here for the action create a database item so here you'll have to choose the value for that and then you'll have to give it the content and content format of course those two are not required just the first one then once you fill up those information for example let's say this one you'll have to test this out of course you can continue to fill up all the informations if you want you can give it even the name and here you'll be able to test this out so click on test the step and you can even test the step if both is working click on publish and the automation and connection between notion and gmail is done so there you have it you successfully understand how to log in or how to connect gmail to notion using this zapier method so this will empower you, man, you managing your emails and tasks seamlessly with Notion and Gmail. So this is going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.